This is bromine. Bromine is a highly toxic element and belongs to the halogens. Since bromine needs only one extra electron to reach noble gas configuration, it is very reactive and goes to great length to get this extra electron. It forms reddish-brown vapors that are heavy enough to be poured like a liquid. If you want to know how reactive bromine is, I have a video on my channel where I show the reaction between bromine and aluminum. It is very impressive and a beautiful reaction. If you like experiments like those, consider leaving a like and subscribing to Elias or my channel. If there's a reaction you always wanted to see, let me know in the comments and I will try to make it happen. And this is cesium. Cesium is the element with the lowest electron negativity, which means it wants to get rid of its electron no matter what. So the two of them should get along wonderfully. So in today's video I'm going to show you with Elias from Elias experiments the reaction between cesium and bromine. But not only that, also the reaction between cesium and liquid iodine. And the reaction between bromine and NEC, an alloy of potassium and sodium. I have linked Elias' channel in the video description, be sure to watch it, it's worth it. In order to be able to mix the elements from a safe distance, we again use the patented device that allows us to drop the cesium into the bromine or iodine. So first we put some cesium into the upper glass and protected it with a thin layer of mineral oil. We try to use a plastic beaker first because you can observe the reaction more nicely through the transparent walls. We did not want to use glass after our experience with liquid oxygen. However, since bromine is very aggressive stuff, the beaker gave up after a few seconds and the bottom dissolved. Luckily we thought ahead and brought some stainless steel beakers. We got to a safe distance and dropped the cesium into the bromine. And because it looked so nice, we did it a second time with the exact same setup. In this reaction, cesium gives up its valence electron, bromine takes it up and cesium bromide is formed. Since bromine has a higher density than cesium, we suspected that the elements do not mix properly but react on the first contact and most of the cesium is thrown out of the beaker. Therefore, for the next experiment we decided to throw the bromine into the cesium. This way it can sink below the cesium and hopefully the two elements will mix better. For this experiment we used a very generous amount of cesium. Zwei, eins, start! Before we look at the reactions of iodine, we wanted to test the reaction between bromine and NAC. NAC is an alloy of sodium and potassium. Although the two metals are a solid at room temperature, they form a eutectic mixture, which means they are liquid at room temperature and highly reactive. By the way, I used this liquid metal to make a fountain. If you are interested, you can find the corresponding video on my channel. The metal, which is protected from oxygen by a thin layer of mineral oil, was stirred vigorously. Due to the high surface tension of neck, many small droplets are formed, which increase the surface area. In this case, we also poured the bromine into the neck to achieve better mixing. In this reaction, the NAC reacts with the bromine and sodium bromide and potassium bromide is formed. Now let's look at the reaction of liquid iodine with cesium and NAC. We added about 3 ml of cesium to our glass and a generous amount of iodine to our stainless steel beaker. We then heated the beaker quickly with a heat gun to melt the iodine before everything sublimates. We again retreat it to a safe distance and drop the cesium into the liquid iodine. I am sorry for the poor quality of the slow-mo footage. We might have access to a proper high-speed camera for a future video to capture those reactions in stunning detail. Last but not least, of course we need to test the reaction between liquid iodine and NEC. We first transferred about 3 ml of the alloy to our glass above the iodine. The 
The iodine was, just like before, heated until it melted. By now, Elias and I made a lot of videos about the reaction between cesium and many different elements and chemicals. We did liquid oxygen, chlorinated solvents, sulfur and many more. If you would like to see those videos, check out Elias and my channel and consider subscribing if you don't want to miss out on future videos. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I would like to thank all my Patreon supporters and my channel members. I am very grateful for your support. If you want to become a patron to support me and my projects, you will find the link in the description of this video. Thank you a lot for watching.